Hey guys, Rubber Kitty here. Hey, so I was chatting with a friend of mine. He's into the BDSM lifestyle, and there's been quite a few things going on um, uh, around the scene, and it's actually gotten the attention worldwide, internationally, within the community. Now, this is a pretty controversial topic, so and it's and it's quite in depth and has a lot of nuances to it, a lot of context. Um, so, and I don't have a lot of time to cover everything, but you can read up a lot about it. Um, there's something called CNC, which is consent, non-consent, uh, which for some people means like, you know, oh my God, how can you consent to being non-consented? Um, I'll give you a basic example. Um, how about, uh, something that anyone can relate to is being slightly embarrassed about something and a lot of it comes into humiliation play so being slightly embarrassed about something and yet being excited about it um, example um, <laughs> quite a few people get uncomfortable when they get a compliment and yet they're happy about getting a compliment um, you didn't ask for the compliment but you know it, it gives you that you know excitement but still being uncomfortable that's a very basic simple level of what CNC could be and then you go to the extremes um, uh, where it goes into other areas such as uh, being considered to be embarrassed publicly um, in private or at certain situations um, it's a pretty complicated thing because at what point in that sort of situation do you or can you withdraw consent and it's a pretty dicey thing especially with the issue of ongoing consent these days and within the scene um, it's understood that you would negotiate these things with someone that you trust ideally um, and have known for a while and so they know all your limits um, they know when to push you for further when to stop when you're too uncomfortable and they'll talk with you afterwards and say, look, you know, hey, uh, was that going too far? Or can I go further? Or whatnot. Um, because some people, like I said, different strokes, different folks, and some people find that really exciting. Example, getting a compliment. You're uncomfortable, but you like getting a compliment anyway. That's, you know, one of those things. Um, and in particular, uh, I was asked about uh, things like, revenge porn um, as in the the frame of consent non-consent and that had me thinking like you know is it a, a consensual thing is that they agreed that you would have compromising photos and someone would then you know bring about a situation or a play or a scenario where you would be embarrassed by you know, say the, the threat of having those released to a partner, significant other, work, social media, whatever. Um, and where was that, where would that apply when, you know, with regards to legalities? Now, I'm not a lawyer, uh, I'm not a cop, um, but if it's something that's agreed to between two people, um, it's, it's up to them to be able to find a way that they can call a halt, like a safe word, or a phrase to say, look, no, stop, that's just too much. And this can happen quite quite well within a relationship. But where I have a concern for that is that you can do it with consent um, to a certain extent, but then after a while, that kind of threat will no longer be valid because you know it's going to happen um, and it's no longer exciting for you it's just like you know you're going on on rides at uh, dream world or sea world movie world disney world or whatever and you know you're going there to be scared um, and you do get scared but then after a while of going on the rides you're not really scared anymore you still get some sort of adrenaline rush but then you've got to go to more extreme rides um, and that's where there is a concern that of things going too far and of people getting a bit carried away 
With regards to covering your butt on that, negotiations would place a heavy sort of uh, emphasis on negotiating anything that could be, you know, quite potentially dangerous like this, as in not just physically but mentally, emotionally. Uh, it's an area where, um, you know, you've got to build up to, ironically, <laughs> you've got to get to know the person. Um, so, and then usually it's more effective when you've got like people that you don't really know because you don't know them that well. So it's one of those catch-22s where I guess, you know, that like the thrill, like a lot of women actually have a fantasy of, um, you know, going out being swept off their feet by a complete stranger. Um, but then, you know, there's the danger element there. So at what point do you actually put common sense into it? I'm not exactly sure. But that's an interesting thing to contemplate. Thank you so much, DG, for that. Um, and for reasons. <laughs> I'm not using their real name. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. Um, if And if it goes too far, um, it, it's maybe even more complicated when you can... If, if someone doesn't like you or things go wrong and they then use those compromising pictures um, to actually re do real damage to you, you can then go into the, the police and, and let them know. However, that's also the difficulty with being in the lifestyle is that at some point you've consented to this kind of thing and you've got to clearly have to withdraw consent at a certain point. But then what you've, you've done is it colours all the evidence, colours everything. So it makes it a lot harder when, you know, things actually do happen. But yeah it's it's a kind of a minefield that way i know i'd like to hear some people's thoughts on it um some people do like to some people call this really extreme and some people um yeah they're quite comfortable with that but i guess it all depends on touching base with the people that you know the people that you associate with and play with and um you know reviewing those boundaries and um you know trusting and being an adult about it because we all do things all a bit squick about get embarrassed about and um i suppose that's the thing about you know <laughs> humiliation it can be beneficial or it can be detrimental beneficial you're getting a compliment you're on un you're uncomfortable with getting and it boosts your ego so anyways that was a really interesting thought topic i don't think i have the answers for it um but it is something to contemplate um the importance of negotiation how far you want to take things um and that trust level that you have um to be adults and agree to disagree or how far you should take it so Anyway, it's still really cold here, so the nose is running. <laughs> anyway, beautiful day, clear skies, so get out, get some sun, hey, enjoy a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, whatever you want, or hot chocolate. Um, go for a walk out in the sun and think about that. I mean, people are into all sorts of different things and um, I won't say I don't judge because, I mean, judging is a part of decision making but not being judgmental about this and thinking along the lines of um, if people want to choose to do this they do take certain risks and they find it acceptable to them um, but trying to help them if things go wrong that's also an important thing but not making too many exceptions um, but being understanding as well and feeling you know, if this, is, if it's not something that I'm into, have, do I have something that's parallel to that? Do I have something that gives me more empathy towards them and allows me to help them without bias? Okay? <laughs> Anyways, talking about stuff, pretty heavy uh, topic there. Consent, non-consent with regards to 
uh, the revenge porn angle, angle a consensual, uh, you know, revenge porn threat. Uh, like I said, I have no answers completely regarding that, but do all your research um, with the people that you play with, legally and internally for yourself. Um, and that's all I can say about that. Anyways, hi Matt. <laughs> hey Robert. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Don't forget to chill out. Love you guys.